Sissy are gonna do a little live taste test. This non-alcoholic red wine, I asked them to point me to the driest red wine that they had, and this is what they gave me. It's called Yours. We're gonna smell it. Do you wanna smell it first? What does it smell like? Does it smell good? Do you think I'm gonna like it? Definitely not sweet, and it's very tart. Like I almost, I almost have to pucker. I will say though, I do appreciate that it's actually dry because I've had some other NA red wine in the past and it just tastes like straight juice, which isn't what we're going for. I probably would give this one like a 3.5 out of 10. Is that too harsh? I don't know, it, it's giving vinegar. 3.5 out of 10. It's a very rainy and gloomy day today and the weather is reflecting my mood because I just feel so down on myself. I honestly just feel like a loser today. I don't know, I had a good morning. I, I did my usual routine. What can you do, you know? If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I add extra carrots to any meal that calls for carrots. If it calls for two large carrots, I'm putting in at least six extra large carrots. It's another gloomy, rainy day. I decided I just, I needed to get ready for the day, put some makeup on. Even if I only have this outfit on for an hour and then I change back into sweatpants, at least I got a little ready. So today I would like to rearrange, which I cannot talk today. Holy moly. When I take calls, I, I don't like how in the background is like the refrigerator and just kind of like it looks cluttered. I would love if I could swing the desk out here and then the background is just that wall. But I think then I would have to rearrange these couches because I think it would be too tight of a squeeze right there. I love rearranging the apartment every few months because then even if I don't like the way I rearrange it and I move it back, I am able to just like deep clean like where the couches were and vacuum in spots that maybe I don't get every time that I vacuum, stuff like that. Watching my queen. JC Marie, she's just the best. There's just something about watching vlogs when you're home all day by yourself that makes you feel like you're not alone and that you're just hanging out with your friends that you've never met and they don't even know you exist. <laughs> I can already tell you this outfit is driving me crazy and I need to change. This is so much better. <laughs> sweatpants. I just can't tell you how how good this feels. It feels like I spent all day in jeans and a sweater and my reward was coming home and changing into this. And I literally spent 15 minutes in jeans. I might have a problem. Oh, flow forecast. You might feel generally okay today. <laughs> what does that even mean, generally okay? Okay, initial thoughts on the desk being moved. I love that the treadmill is more tucked away, but I'm definitely gonna have to move the couches. I just don't love that you can see all of those cords. There's gotta be a way that I can hide those better, but I'm gonna commit, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep rearranging and give it a chance. How cute would it be if I put my little gray like love seat couch right there? and just made this corner my official office space. What would just be so cute? The only thing I would have to do then is one of these couches would have to go in our bedroom. And I know that he likes having the two couches out here because it is really cozy. I don't know, I kind of want to try it just to see what it looks like. I can always put it back. But then it would make the space feel a lot bigger and more open too because having like a sectional really closes off the space and it is a nice big room. I think I might try that because it would be really nice. Okay, the living room is done. I'm sweating. 
that was a journey that I went on. <laughs> My poor husband. So we've got the one couch in the living room. Reed loves this couch. He's never gonna give it up. And so we're gonna embrace the coziness of it. And I think it's really cute. We'll see what Reed thinks when he gets home. Oh, I love her. Some might say she's a cutie pie. You know who else is a cutie pie? Cutie pie one. Cutie pie crabby pie two. <laughs> She says, mutter, why must you rearrange all the time? Why must you rearrange all the time? It drives me nuts. I just think this is so much nicer. It's open, it's clean, it's cuter. I'm just working on prepping for a discovery call I have tomorrow with a potential client. So I'm reviewing some YouTube videos that I always like to look back on and writing down some questions that are specific to the kind of work that they're looking for. Just so when I go into the call tomorrow, I can really be prepared and get all of my questions answered because I've made the mistake more than once where I write down questions and I kind of prepare but then after I get off the call I think of like five or six more questions that I should have asked that would have helped me either understand the scope of the project more or help price my work more accurately so you know it's all trial and error and every time you prepare for a call and get on a call you learn something new and it helps you to prepare better and differently for next time. Okay, we are home from the gym. Yes, I'm home. Trader Joe's is on the way home from Planet Fitness and it's just so hard not to stop when I just need like a few things. Originally I went because I wanted to get a grapefruit <laughs> and since it's almost Valentine's Day, they have the XO gummies. I need those for a bachelorette party that I'm hosting. It's gonna be the weekend of Valentine's Day. Gotta get all the Valentine's Day like things. They were all out of those, so I'll go back in like a week and see if they have them. Bride, if you're watching this, just skip forward, okay? Don't, don't listen or watch this even though I know that you're probably going to exit out or skip forward. I got these little mini heart cookies. They're dark chocolate, cute and festive, but I'm making a dessert charcuterie board for when all of the girls get to the Airbnb first night. So all the heart shaped things, all the pink things, all the lovey-dovey stuff. And then I also got these dark chocolate covered pretzels because who doesn't love chocolate covered pretzels? And then these were cheap and just were kind of cute and they're heart-shaped Belgian chocolate hearts, one regular and one with praline filling. And then I got something for the girlies. <laughs> I got the girlies a chew cootery, because how could I not? It's so cute. So should I give you, you want a treat? They're even shaped like cheese and turkey and stuff. That's so cute. It's a shoot day today. We're gonna be shooting a mocktail and then a sprinkle, a sprinkle cupcake, like action shot. The mocktail is gonna be like a grapefruit gin fizz. For this drink, I'm gonna do semi-hard light. So I have like a curtain over my continuous light. I'll show you. You can kind of tell, you can see the 
like the shadows that it creates. I just thought it was really pretty, but it's gonna be bright, I'm sorry. But here's my continuous light, and then I just draped this curtain over it, and it's gonna create this really nice, hard-ish light with just some pretty shadows for added interest. I'm just gonna get everything set up and ready to go, and then, excuse you. So I was gonna fill up the drinks here right away, but since I'm shooting with a harder light, I really love when... Do you see how when the light shines through the glass it creates this really pretty just shadow and light situation? Once I fill the glass, like this will go away and it'll, it'll just be one like solid shadow and I would really like to capture just the little detail in the glasses here. First I'm gonna take a shot with the glasses not being filled. Then I'll fill up the glasses and take another shot like that and then in post-production I'll combine the two and you'll get those really pretty shadows with the little light catching into them. I feel like I just explained that very poorly so if I did I'm so sorry hopefully you understand what I'm talking about but yeah so that's why I'm taking photos with the glasses empty first. All right, I wanna show you the difference in these shadows when you fill the glass with your drink. See how it's all filled in, for the most part at least. I also wanna do this with soft light too, so I'm gonna switch out my continuous light for my flash, maybe style the drinks a little bit differently. So we're gonna do a little splash shot next. I really wanna make sure that I get the droplets like exploding from the glass. I want it to be really dramatic looking. And I'm thinking that just dropping some of the like liquid from the drink into the glass won't be enough like power for the liquid to splash up. So I'm gonna try to use just like little pieces of ice like really little ones like that. Yeah, we'll see how that works. If it doesn't, I can just fish out the ice cubes and we'll try something else. We're gonna see how this one goes first. The polo. No, like here's what? the thing. I was wearing it out in two days, which I don't even know if I told you guys that we we're going to Maine. We're going to Maine one last little family get together now. So we're staying at an Airbnb. It's pretty like <laughs> private and remote. It looks really pretty. And I don't know if it's because I'm brunette. It definitely does the job. I also have this Absolutely. Thank you. Hello and happy weekend. It's Saturday. I'm very sleepy, so I'm just laying on the couch. I had a really fun morning. I met up with a friend and we went to Terra Bagels and got just the best bagels ever. I had an Italian urban cheese with a scallion cream cheese. And then we went to the Bradbury and got lattes and I got a rosemary and pomegranate latte. I've had rosemary and lattes before, but never pomegranate, and it was so yummy. I would definitely get that one again. I just love their seasonal drinks. I feel like they have really unique flavors and pairings, and I've never had a bad latte there. And then we moseyed around Stouffer Home and just looked at all of... Oh, 
Excuse me. <laughs> All of the beautiful decor and home things. But now I'm home for a little bit. I'm really tired. I did not sleep very well last night. So I'm just relaxing. Probably most of the afternoon I'll just be here. I will probably finish my book. I'm reading The Great Alone. Was it by Kristen Hanna, I think? My girl is snuggled with me too. Hi, sister. I am 74% of the way through, and it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. There's a lot of twists and twists and turns, and it's kind of sad right now, but so I'm just chilling here for the next few hours, and then later tonight I'm gonna go to dinner with a friend, and after there's a string quartet that's playing all Taylor Swift music and it's at this really like big fancy church downtown Grand Rapids so I think that that'll be really fun. It's so nice because today is one of those days where my body is literally telling me to just lay down and relax and rest and it feels so good and actually like productive whereas there's some days where I just feel like I'm being like lazier um, but this just feels like I'm fully relaxed and enjoying this restful time. 